We're joined now by someone who's witnessed the advent and the rise of social media on the sports landscape, an eight-time NBA All-Star, Vince Carter. Vince, you're the oldest player in the league now at 42, almost 43. Mm -hmm. Paint a picture for us. What is it like in an NBA locker room with the young players in particular spending so much time looking at their phones, uh, obsessing over their at mentions? It's, it's a... It's a Roller coaster. It's an emotional roller coaster, and uh, I take. I think it, it depends on how things go. Obviously, game by game, week by week, month, month by month. Uh, I mean, you're entitled to have a, a rough night, rough quarter, rough half, rough game. But uh, I, I think sometimes I throw myself in the fire. But we as athletes have social media at our fingertips at any time, and of course, if you're playing well, you go look at your mentions. If you're not playing so well, sometimes you look at your mentions and now you have a diehard fan, an opponent's fan, saying whatever they, what they want. And sometimes we tend to get caught up in what's being said from that person and ha feel like we have to prove to them going into mm. the second half. I mean, it's, that's um, remarkable, Vince. I mean, you and I have talked about this before. You're saying players mm. are looking at their phones at halftime. And they're taking to heart criticisms they see on social media. That can't be from good. someone that who's sitting at home, right? I mean, no. but you're saying that really happens all the time. Yes, of course. It's been like that for a while. It's and, and it's tough for someone like myself or, or guys who were who's been in the NBA prior to social media being a thing because I mean it wasn't a thing, so we didn't have to worry about the outside noise and. You know, now we're so accessible to all of these outlets at the click of a button, turn on your phone, tap, and then there it is. And, you know, so it's, for me, I, I you know, it's not something I, 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 I worry about. I even look at, you know, I've just been accustomed to, so for so many years, kind of once game starts, outside of checking on family, friends, making sure they're okay, and getting to the arena, getting their seats, blah, blah, blah. That's really the last time I kind of look at my phone unless it's a situation I need to check at halftime. But like, it's, it's a real thing. And, uh, you know, I, I've no, I've, over the years, it's been a concern for some organizations. And, you know, we try to, we try to kind of um, speak up on it and just tell guys, hey, you know, focus on the game. If you were commissioner for a day, what would you do? What would you mandate on the subject of social media? I mean, it seems insane that players are looking at their phones at halftime. Uh, me personally, I mean, and I know it kills guys to, to not have that phone and not have the access and look at it, you know, and, and it's tough to kind of tell a guy not to be on your phone at halftime because of, like I said, those situations where emergency situations where you, you know, family member. But I've been on teams where right before your meetings or uh, once your meetings start, that's the last time you look at your phones. I mean, guys tend to real quick, real quick. And, you know, that's OK. But like, I, I, 40 minutes probably before the game is usually uh, I've been on a team where they, it was shut down. Uh, we did that in Dallas as well. Vince Carter, the eight-time All-Star, the first player to play in four different decades in the NBA on some of the damaging effects of social media on players. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.